Good evening, welcome back to In The Curd. This is August 17, 2022, 8.47pm. And today was again Bruh. one of those days where I just feel very sad by the end of the day because I couldn't get anything concrete done. Today was more of a struggle. <laughs> but still there is one thing I think is worth putting in the documentation. I woke up at 5.30 today. I had to basically follow along the rigging part of Cubic Worlds. There I realized that I need to have my own character in the Cubic Worlds style. So <laughs> what I figured is instead of having everything as cute, cubes if I just put like a subsurf modifier at 2 and adjust the vertices a little bit, this looks a lot better instead of just having boxes everywhere. And the same ideology can be applied to all these. So even this can have that same. And I also want to have a little bit of bevel because Bruh. that's like a unique style that I can go for. So I will have to work a lot on recreating my own character. Of course, for the head, uh, just before recording this, I was taking my profiles. I can use that as a proper reference. But here, I tried a couple of things that I could do. In the morning, I tried to get the beanie like this, but obviously this looks like some Egyptian thing they wear on their head. Bruh. So that's definitely not what we want. That was a fail. I Then I took a sphere and then I cut it into half. And this is using the subsurf and solidify modifiers. It still can be done a lot better, but I know at least how to do that now. So using proportional editing, and one thing here is you cannot see vertices here so you have to shut solidify modifier for the vertices to be visible if you even shut subsurf then it will be a lot more visible but yeah that was just one thing worth noting again i'll tomorrow again i'll try to spend some time getting this character right because until the character is ready the rigging is like a mechanical thing that has to be done over and over again but the character is something this is the character that will be doing that moving meditations thing in the front so it's gonna be important yeah that, that's the progress for moving meditations how do you set up visual studio code to run after effects scripts now the reason I got stuck with extend script is because of this. I was trying way too hard today to get to make some sense of the go deep, the template easy com that I'm the uh, template easy script that I want to make. But because extend script doesn't provide you the capability to either match braces or know what is going on it's very difficult to navigate through this so i tried doing yeah, like comments where every single time i would start something i'd put a comment and then for the else i would put a comment but Bruh. we have a much better alternative to do it through visual studio code where all the braces match they are color corrected and everything is like a lot more better to do it but before you can just run f5 here and uh, like for example here, alert woohoo if i press f5 now with after after fix running this is gonna run this inside After Effects. So before that can be achieved, a few things need to be done. Firstly, you have to go to your extensions panel and search for Adobe Script Runner. You need to install this. And another thing you have to search for is Extend Script Debugger. This will basically help with some of the commands inside this one extend script something else syntax highlighting for visual studio code you can even install this but yeah extend script debugger now once that is done you hit Control shift p on your keyboard this opens this context menu you type in preferences open keyboard shortcuts json and here you want to define which key will run your script inside after effects this is just a json format okay uh what did we used to call key value pair so this is a key quote and there's a value so i've set key to f5 because extend script by default you use f5 to run this you can put anything you want command has to be adobe script runner.ae and when editor text focus just put this and you will be good now one important thing that you have to make sure is you have to go to file file preferences settings and here inside extensions you have to open adobe script runner earlier this wasn't showing up for some very weird reason so what i did is i uninstalled the adobe script runner extension and installed it back again and then it appeared i wouldn't even see this earlier Bruh. so once you come to extensions and you click on this thing here adobe script runner configuration over here there is win after effects dot ex dot exe path so here basically you have to tell the path for after effects version that you're using so i'm using 2021 by default it will always Take the latest version so it was 2022 earlier but if you're using the version 2021 you want to just put that here and support files this is path is going to be the same if you've done the default installation of after effects once all of this is done you can come in here and run your script now here uh, the whole day i was trying to figure out how to make sense of this there are a lot of for loops i have to use a function somehow to make it a little more clean i'm just not able to wrap my head around it maybe a little more few more days that i try and figure it i definitely need this stem this script is very very and moreover even if i don't use it or i use it the fact that i get to learn so much in the process of trying to make these scripts that i feel will help me is huge we've hit six minutes that's pretty much it for today's documentation nothing much but in situations like these as 
where I feel like in the code vlog is such a blessing for me because now I will just quickly edit this in like next 15 minutes and upload a video. You could argue that I'm just being over dramatic, but Bruh. by some extent, I did not get any productive thing done today. Even then, there is this one video that's going up on the channel and I'm editing and I'm in the daily practice, daily grind. So that's why I love in the code so much. That was it for today's documentation. Thank you so much for being with me. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.